So getting this cellar, um, it's a very large cellar. It's about 16 feet by 32 feet, which is a, um, a nice rectangle for construction. Uh, it was probably built after the 1870s. So this would have been later than that small bu building we were looking at there, the foundation for that building. The reason we think this is much later and the archeology span is, is helping us out with that in terms of the dating of, of artifacts we're finding is that Paul Powell, Thomas Powell's son, sometime between 1870 and 1880, his herd of milk cattle went from two to 11 and the farm, they concentrated primarily on milking. A lot of farmers around here did that because they couldn't compete with the Western grain farmers. Uh, by 1880, uh, the farm under Paul Powell's uh, ownership was producing about 7,300 gallons of milk a year, which is well above average for this area in terms of milk farms. So they needed a big cellar hole in order to um, have some place to store and to cool their, keep their milk cool. And this probably served that function. That's a good explanation why they would put so much energy into building this uh, cellar here, right next to the, to the uh, house site. You can see this is a lot of work. There's a lot of, a lot of stone uh, uh, masonry that had to be done. Obviously a lot of excavation here. Um, here again, they probably got some of the clay out of this by excavating the, uh, the, the cellar here and used it someplace else as being a nice foundation for, for buildings. Um, and that's conjectural right now. We haven't done any, obviously any work in the cellar because it's full of water, but at some point um, we hope to uh, get the water out of here and, um, and maybe uh, test that theory a little bit.